Kia ora everyone, welcome to Morg Nuts. My name's Morgan, thank you for checking out this video. It's another cracker day in Otutahi Christchurch and I'm actually gonna go on a wee adventure to three different restaurants that have, well they all have great menus, but they've got one specific dish that has kimchi in the meal. And so um, it's a bit of a shameless plug actually because I have a little side hustle called Chicken's Kimchi and these restaurants stock that kimchi and I wanna go and see what they're actually doing with it and how those meals taste. And our first stop is at Majestic at Mayfair. Now Mayfair is a flash new hotel in Christchurch, it's just almost uh, two years old now and it's got this fantastic little cafe as part of it called Majestic at Mayfair funnily enough and we're gonna go check out their, their kimchi offerings, see what they're doing with it. <laughs> Here it is, look at this beautiful thing. This is the cheeky hash. The third most popular meal on the menu, I've been told by Chef Nick. We're saying that the most popular thing, by far, consistently, is eggs on toast. And I can totally understand why. Now I've got my lovely little flat white. Look, everything's so nice here at the Majestic. Look at these beautiful little cups. Mmm. And the whole room's just got a nice vibe. It gets pretty busy like every time I've been in here. It's good, it's a good vibe. And you can sit outside too. There's a lovely little kind of covered seating area in the sun, which is beautiful. Inside it's nice and light. We've got lovely dried leaves and flowers in the ceiling. It's just, a, it's a well-appointed room. I think it's quite fancy. Let's get into this cheeky hash. Got you down hollandaise. Look at that. That's the hollandaise covering the, uh, the eggs. On oh, here comes the coffee. Thank you very much. Beautiful. And then if we look over here, oh, what do you know? It's the kimchi that I just delivered and I can smell it from here. It's a fresh batch. <laughs> Delicious. On the other side, what do we got? Some lovely little seeds up here. Some, what are those? Pumpkin seeds, maybe? Sees me seeds differently. 12 hour braised beef cheek. It's got um, pressed potato, not depressed potato. The kimchi, obviously. A poached egg in there underneath that um, gochu gang hollandaise and a rich jus. Look at that, that is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, first of all, let's do the egg test. Let's see how that how that yolk's looking. And where we get into, oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> it's magic. Definitely smashed the yolk test. There we go, so we'll get, oh, a little bit of the, bit of the potato, a bit of the egg. I've already mushed it around a bit much, but that's okay. Mm. That is insane. Holy hell. So in that mouthful I got a bit of potato, a bit of the um, beef, and the jus is just so rich. Well, that is absolutely gorgeous. This is one hell of a stonker of a meal, that's for sure. You will not be hungry after this. We'll get to the kimchi in just a little bit. Um, wonderful. That yolk is so velvety and delicious. And then you pair it up with the um, the potato, it's nice and crispy. And then of course it's got the soft insides and the potato just really just absorbs all that beautiful jus. Mmm. Mm. I got my first little bit of kimchi in there. Oh, that's good. That's some nice kimchi. So let's try a little bit of kimchi, a little bit of jus, a little bit of potato. Oh God, I'm making a mess. You could actually just mix this all up into one big slop and it would taste <laughs> fucking amazing. So there we go, we've got the can you see that? We've got the kimchi there. Um, the kimchi does have that zing and just cut through the richest of the egg, the jus. Man, you know you're eating it, don't you? But what a great pairing. Every element of this dish just complements the rest. It's so well balanced. The beef is cooked beautifully as well. Braised for 12 hours, no less. I wonder if that's the magic number for raising beef. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There's, the there's the beef there. Can you see that? Beautifully done. This would be definitely my go-to meal here, I reckon. In your faced eggs on toast. And the coffee's bloody good too. And you can kind of like create your best mouthful. Get a bit of egg, get a bit of potato, a bit of kimchi, some seeds. And then just go kimchi and beef. Kimchi and meat is just just a classic combo, isn't it? Like how does that work so well? Having the jus with just the kimchi, oh <laughs> it's a little bit spicy. Kind of brings out a bit more of the garlic taste of the kimchi. Because there's quite a bit of, well there's a bit of garlic in the kimchi. That is a flavour bomb. I finished my eggs, I did about half the hash, most of the beef, and most of the kimchi. And I'm quite full, and I have to be careful because I'm going to go to Miro next and eat more there. So, that'll probably do me for here, but Majestic at the Mayfair is absolutely humming. You should definitely check this place out if you're in Christchurch. It's just off, oh, I'll show you, I'll show you after this. I'll take you down the road. That was a fantastic start. And actually it was quite cool to see where the kimchi that I make ends up 
in a restaurant menu. And I have to say, they've done it justice, man. Jeez Louise, that was good. What road is this? What road is this? Come on, Christchurch, give me a street name, for fuck's sake. This is Dorset Street, so essentially the main entrance is off Dorset Street. And then this is Victoria Road. Victoria Street? Victoria Road Street? So yeah, if you're looking for a nice, kind of bougie place to stay in Christchurch, the Mayfair is the balls. <laughs> Okay, well I might have got a little bit ahead of myself because at Miro the kimchi is not quite on the menu yet. They were saying it's going to be on there probably in about a week and it's probably going to go in some sort of delicious chicken sandwich. That sounds amazing. Might have to come back for that actually because I just wanted to get something done and, and, and out. So we'll probably just head straight to Last Word and see their chim chimchis? kimchi toasties, see what they do with it there. Uh, but yeah, Miro, great cafe though. Can't wait to come back and try their, their uh, offering with the kimchi. Oh, it is still a cracker day here in Christchurch. I'm just down by the Avon River and I'm going to go across there to New Regent Street. But since that last little clip outside Miro, it's been absolutely nuts. The weather came in in about five minutes. It was like stormy, there was black cloud, it was raining sideways. Then it started hailing and now it's fined up to be this absolutely gorgeous evening. It's been a very odd day, but we're not here for a weather report. We're here to see how the last word used Cheekham's kimchi in their kimchi toasty and I'm really looking forward to this. Let's go see how they do it. Alrighty, well, I'm in this lovely little room. I've got my sparkling water and I've got Edie or Edith of the house, Lady Edith, to join me. She doesn't say much, but she's chill. I just really love the last word. They do everything so well. You know, they're in this beautiful old building that's still here. It made it through all the quakes, which is amazing. And you can sit outside under the umbrellas if you wish. There's loads of seating and there's comfy seating outside the door and, and rugs for your knees if you get cold in the evenings, which it does in Christchurch. Or you can choose to sit inside down here where I am at the bar. There's upstairs seating as well. And of course, all the whiskies in the world. And there's other things, you know, you've got the hot toddies and all your cocktails, etc. They do that with class. But I cannot wait for the kimchi toast. This looks freaking outstanding. Absolutely stacked full of cheese. And then you've got all the kimchi in the world. You can see it busting out there. A little bit of uh, QP mayo on the end there. There's QP mayo, there's pickles. So the bread is sourced locally from Good Honest Bakery, which is awesome. They make their own butter here as well. You've got the kimchi from Chicken's Kimchi. Yeah! And you've got the cheese, which is just Colby cheese, which is awesome. Oh, that is a, that is a, look at that. Look at that. That is a thing of beauty. So let's taste it, shall we? <laughs> it, it's just so good. <laughs> I need better words. It's zing. Cheese and kimchi just go so well together because cheese, oh, let me start with kimchi. The kimchi is high in acid, it's got high acidity. That pH is way down. So it cuts through anything that's rich or fatty. So we've got cheese, which is rich, and it kind of, it doesn't compete with, the, the two ingredients don't compete with each other. They just blend together in some cheesy kimchi, harmonious, love-making fest. It's outstanding. Dip it in a little bit of QP mayo. Mm-hmm. Just got a big chunk of cabbage. <laughs> oh! And the QP mayo is awesome with it. I've never even had that before. That's a genius move, last word. But that just adds like another, like a really nice finish kind of thing. A nice creamy texture on top of the cheese, on top of the kimchi. It's like you taste the kimchi first, then you get the cheese, and then you get the the QP mayo. The cheese to kimchi ratio, perfect. So nicely toasted as well. Got a little bit of a crispy crunch from the crust. Excuse me. And the cheese is just bursting, trying to get out. Just gonna get out into my face. And the great thing is you can just sit here and take your time and enjoy just people watching. Loads of people walk down here. So many tourists down this area as well. And for good reason, it's a cool little street. One of the reasons that this place remains standing is because of these ginormous steel beams that kind of held the place together during the earthquake as well. There's a tattoo shop across the road. I might go get a tattoo. Cheekham's kimchi tattoo on my lower back. 
You can't do much better than this. The last word, have had the last word on kimchi's toasties. And I appreciate you, the last word. This is just such a great spot. I've said it before, I'll say it again. If you're in New Regent Street, you come from Wanda, you make sure this is one of your destinations. It's warm, the staff are so friendly and knowledgeable about the whiskeys and the food. Lovely wee room. Outsider in, you are not gonna be disappointed, so do check them out. So there we go, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. That was two places. That was Majestic at Mayfair, and we've got the last word, which both stock my kimchi, which I'm so lucky, and I appreciate them doing that. Uh, Chikim's kimchi, and they're using it in two very different ways, but they are spectacular ways. Really, really, really delicious. So that was a cool wee adventure. I enjoyed that, I hope you did too. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.